So far, 2023 has been a fantastic year for gamers. There have been so many incredible new games released, not to mention new GPUs. Nvidia introduced DLSS 3.0, and now the company has unveiled DLSS 3.5, an updated version of its upscaling algorithm. With the new RX 7000 series GPU, AMD has not introduced a fresh version of their upscaling technology. Nevertheless, at Gamescom 2023, they have just presented their much-anticipated FSR 3.0 with a number of enhancements as well as the alternative frame generation they have developed. Can it, however, genuinely compete with the DLSS 3.5? Let's investigate. Just like the FSR 2.0, the FSR 3.0 is going to be an open source technology which means a wide range of GPUs including other brands, such as Nvidia's graphics cards will also gain access to this upscaling technology. And unlike a few supported games like Nvidia, AMD just announced that the FSR 3.0 is going to be supported by all the DX11 and DX12 games. And they also showed exclusive gameplay footage of Forspoken, which exhibits significant performance improvement. Nvidia, on the other hand, only brought a list of three games that are going to be supported by DLSS 3.5 for now. Although, we believe more games will be put to work later. For now, Cyberpunk 2077 Phantom Liberty, Alan Wake 2 and Portal with RTX are the only games that are gonna have the advantage of this new upscaling technology. However, Nvidia also confirmed that DLSS says 3.5 is not exclusive to the RTX 40 series. All the RTX series GPUs are gonna have access to the DLSS 3.5 and only the new frame generation tech is exclusive to 40 series cards. Although both DLSS and FSR are pretty much similar technology, they operate in different ways. DLSS is a hardware-based upscaling technology that's only exclusively available on RTX cards. On the other hand, FSR is software-based, meaning not just AMD other graphics cards including Nvidia's GPUs can run this upscaling technology. So, obviously if you think about the performance, AMD's FSR 3.0 will not be as powerful as Nvidia's latest DLSS 3.5 because NVIDIA's hardware on the 40 series cards is simply more powerful than the AMD RX 7000 series GPUs. However, the latest FSR 3.0 will enable fluid motion frames, which is pretty similar to DLSS's frame generation technology. If they successfully manage to pull it out, then it could be a major turn of an event for a MD for sure. As for the release date, DLSS 3.5 is coming out on September 26th along with the release of Cyberpunk Phantom Liberty. FSR 3.0 on the other hand, was previously rumored to be around with the release of Starfield which is Bethesda's upcoming biggest open-world action RPG game. But AMD has confirmed in the recent announcement that the FSR 3.0 is not coming out until the Q1 of 2024. In the end, even if the FSR 3.0 manages to give higher frame rate views similar to Nvidia's DLS 3.5, it does not seem to have the potential to beat it completely. But we do hope that AMD's FSR 3.0 turns out to be as good as they mentioned, because a wide range of gamers will be able to take advantage of this new upscaling technology. We'll be back with more when there will be more left to discuss. Catch you guys in our next video.